Hello friends, uh, my name is Natras. In this video, I am going to talk about an important FAQ, very tricky question kind of thing. Uh, long, long back when I faced my first interview in life, okay, they have asked me this question. So, very tricky, especially if you have done practice of plain HTML, you will be tempted to give wrong answer. Otherwise, 99 percent you will give right answer. But if you have done practice of just HTML without taking any web server support or web application support, just HTML based web pages, you will be tempted to give wrong answer. So, that is why listen question carefully and uh, try to respond. So, what is the question? What happens if you modify the source code of web page using browser options? Options they will give is web page will be modified or will not be modified, web page content will be modified or will not be modified. Yeah. Web page content will be modified, B content will not be modified, content will not be modified. <coughs> Correct answer, Correct answer is A, that means A na B na content will not be modified. Why? Before that we should understand, browser gives request to web server, web server is having web application which are deployed in the web server. Inside web application, web components will be there. What will be there? <coughs> web component will be there. So, whenever we give request to a web component called HTML which is there inside the web application of web server the code of HTML comes to browser will be displayed in the browser. The code of HTML comes to browser and will be displayed in the browser. Actually, we will execute in the browser because of that one web page will be displayed. So, the story is something like this. So, what is this? Here we are having browser. What is that here? Browser window. Here we are having browser window. Right. Here we will be having what? <coughs> web server. Inside the web server, what is there? Web application. Inside the web application, what is this? HTML component and server, serverlet component. What is this? Web server web server. It is a server where our web application will be deployed and managed. Yeah, what is this web application? Like what? gmail.com. What is this? HTML file. What is this here? HTML file. What is this? Serverlet component. What component? Serverlet component. Let us assume I have given request. Who takes the request? Web server. Passes the request to requested web component. What is that? HTML file. What it happen? It collects the code from what? Web component. Okay, collects which will go HTML code and that code is given to whom? Browser. What is that brow code called response? This is called a request. This is called a request. This is called response. Right. So here what will happen? one dynamic web page will be displayed, dynamic or static web page that depends upon the component we request. If we send request to HTML file, you will get HTML code and displays the web page. If we give request to what static web page, if we give request to serverlet component, we will get what uh, content which can display the dynamic web page. This is the story. Mm. Now listen, what is our actual question? If we modify source code of a page using browser option, tell me whether content of the web page will be modified or will not be modified. Answer is what? Will not be modified. Let us try to understand why it will not be modified. Listen, I have given request to HTML file code. 
code of HTML component is gathered, given to web server. Web server is passing that code to browser. Browser is displaying in the form of web page. Now, I right click on this web page, view source. I got the source code. And after modifying the source code, again we press the refresh button. When you press refresh button, previous request executes one more time or not? Yes. When previous request execute, again request comes to web server, goes to HTML file. So, again it will collect what? Original unmodified code. Because of that code comes to web server, that code goes to browser and browser displays what? Web page according to the code that is there in HTML file. That means what? Whenever we say view source and we modify the code, that modification is reflecting at what level? Browser level. That is not reflecting at what level? Web application and web server level. That means it is not affecting anything at server side. It is affecting at what side? Client side. But when I say refresh button, what happens? When I say refresh button, what happened? Previous request executes one more time. One more time is it comes to what? Server side HTML component or server side web component. Anything modified here? No. That is why what happened? Again, original code, unmodified code only goes to server. That code goes to browser and browser displays what? Web page according to what? Unmodified code. So, modifications will reflect or will not reflect or will not reflect. What about servlets are same story. Servlet gives some HTML code as output to web server. Web server passes that code to browser. Browser displays what dynamic web page based on that code. You used view source option, modified the code, pressed refresh button. Refresh button means what? Once again request goes to servlet. And now tell me this code is modified? No. That is the same code execute same output or same html code goes to web server web server passes same code to browser and based on that html code browser displays same old web page without any modification or not so what happened to the modification we have done through view source option of the browser that change happens browser side client side Okay, when I press refresh button, that will not affect any server side component and those modifications will not reflect at what server side. So, when you say refresh button, again request comes to server side component and nothing is modified at server side. That is why modification done in browser web page through use source option will not affect content of the web page and it should not be affected also. If it is really affected, uh, what happens? No website can maintain their web pages having same look for long time. Why? The commentators and other people just uses use source option, modifies the content and damages the websites. See, Yahoo home page, same content for any number of days. Why? If they get the source code of the web page using view source option, if they modify also that modification within the browser. Once you say refresh button, anyhow request comes to server side component, nothing is modified, their production is there, cannot be modified that much directly. That too as an end user you cannot modify. So, original code only executes, again what? Perfect output comes. So, that is why nothing happens if you modify the source code of the web page using what? View source option. If that facility is there, no website can have great look for long time. Permanent look of web pages, permanent cunt of web pages long time. Why? The commentators, other people knowingly, unknowingly, intentionally what? Opens the source code, gets the code and modifies the code. And if that modification is also reflecting at server side and what happened for our modification effects. For our modification effects means we are damaging the website intentionally or unintentionally. So, that is why that option will not be there. I hope you understood it. So, let us try to see something practically. So, here I have Naresh IT website. What is this? Naresh IT home page. Yeah, our organization website home page. Right click on it. View page source, view source, page source, whatever it is. 
we got lot of source code lot of source code because so many things are used in a source code using one or other option you try to modify okay and go there say refresh anything affected here nothing is affected here why see when i say refresh anything affected here nothing is affected here same old content is coming why same old content is coming simple reason when i say refresh button after modification once again request has gone to server web server web component from there un there unmodified code is executed un what, what is that output came from that unmodified code and based on that output this web page is displayed due to this nothing will be affected i hope you got a clarity or not so once again open the source code open it you try to delete it you try to modify it some browsers won't support it you do a number of thing just go there say refresh just refresh so rendering may take my time but it's not going to affect single line nothing is damaged here anything is damaged over here really not damaged and it will not be damaged also why this is local this modification is local but after doing modification what i am saying refresh refresh means what old request should execute that means request should go to what server server said anything is affected or do you get access to any components of server side no so that's why what happens that's why what happens okay so the components that are there in server side okay not modified not affected that's why they give output based on original code that is executed old code that is old code means what old content will come in the web page so like this you have to convince the intro user interior is ask this question as a very tricky question and you have to be very careful while answering this question and you don't expect that provision will be there will not be there if there also they will disable it why because if it is the case people spends 10 days 20 days to construct the each web page content designing everything okay and within the minutes people opens the source code and damages it how does it will going to work out it's a threat to entire internet industry so that's why this option will not be there but as a tricky question interviewer may ask especially when you are trying as a fresher or when you are showing some experience and you are looking like a innocent fellow and to check whether practical knowledge is great or not whether your fundamentals are strong or not whether your conceptual knowledge is great or not this question will be asked right i hope you benefited with this thank you happy coding and keep smiling